Hi everyone, this is Angela, your friendly mushroom huntress, and today we are here with oyster mushrooms, which, as you can see here, these are a very young specimen, um, but they come out in late fall um, up until the winter months. Um, so in upstate New York, in the Adirondack region, where, where we are, um, this is the end of October, almost, um, today is October 29th. So, um, as you can see, the oyster mushroom has a pale um, brown to a actually a dark um, purplish color. These are sort of in between because they're young. And as you can see, the vein structure on these, um, it is similar to a chanterelle in a way, a little bit more pronounced. Um, but it, the, the veining, if it does have a stem, like these young specimens do, goes down into the stem. Um, and the most important thing about um, identifying the chanterelle mushrooms is that they, they are oyster shaped. Or, I'm sorry, these are chanterelles, oyster mushrooms. Um, they're oyster shaped and the cap, or the stem I should say, um, is off center as these are here. Um, and they are a choice edible. Um, they're delicious. They occur mainly on deciduous trees in clusters. Um, you can see a couple of the clusters here from these. And again, because they are a young specimen, um, oftentimes they don't even have a stem. Um, but this one is a little bit bigger. Um, oftentimes they'll just be like, you know, sort of big earlobe type shaped. And they will appear um, like this, um, as you can see where it's just a little hint of a stem, um, and this is actually big for the, the stem, um, but they appear on either on logs or on dying trees. Um, and again, they're going to be in clumps, um, as these were, and um, they're a choice edible. So enjoy.